Hey there, switching on a toilet is something a lot of the homeowners and DIYers have tried. Today's project, repairing the toilet flange for this toilet. The old toilet flange was in such a bad condition we couldn't even use one of these repair kits. At first, you may want to throw one of these twist and fit toilet flanges, but if you think about it, you don't have a solid connection between the flange and the drain. It is pretty much floating in there. And also, some counties and municipalities, they don't allow you to use these. First, let's focus on taking out the old flange. I suggest sealing the drain pipe with plastic bags to keep away the sewer smell. Then, we'll start by unscrewing all the bolts holding down the flange. If some of these bolts are rusty and won't come out, you might need to be a little tough and cut them with a mini saw or a sawzall. Next, we cut out the flange using a multi-tool. We go all around until it comes off. Once the flange is out, we clean the area really well. Now, what you use is a rotary drill bit. I went to a nearby store and got one. If you wonder where you can get one, you can check out the description below. I have listed everything there. You just move the bit around the pipe, aiming to cut as straight as you can. And in my case, because this cut is so deep, I needed to attach an extension to the drill. We'll then take that piece of pipe out of the way and prep it to glue it to the coupling. We do so by deburring the rough edges and sanding the pipe. The goal here is to make sure the pipe is clean so when we glue everything together it goes in smoothly. And now we're going to grab ourselves a coupling and add this coupling to the existing pipe. Then we're going to extend that pipe so we have enough to mount our flange. And the good thing about having ABS pipe, which is this black one, is that you only need ABS cement. If you have PVC in your home, which is the white pipe, you need to prime that first before adding cement to the couplings and fittings. Here's a little trick. If you can't get this to open, grab yourself a wrench or a, a hammer, just tap it on the side of the lid few times and then that should crank it open fairly easy now let's add cement to the coupling and then to the piece of pipe make sure to use plenty on one of the two so it slides in easier we'll slide the coupling into the pipe and push down firmly you can also use a piece of 2x4. The problem of using the pipe like I did is now that I have to wait for the coupling to dry before taking the pipe out. We'll drop in the new toilet flange and take off the cap if there's one. The next step is to figure out how much pipe is needed to complete the connection. In this case, we need about 3.5 inches of pipe. We measure that length of pipe and cut it off. Again, we have to clean the pipe by deburring and sanding any of the rough edges. We put some cement on the flange and then on the pipe. We attach the pipe to the flange by pushing it down firmly and holding for about 10 seconds. Then it's time to glue the inside of the coupling and on the piece of pipe. Just like before, we push it down firmly and hold it for a few seconds. Make sure that the toilet will sit square with the wall. And we do that by measuring from the wall to the end of the slot in the toilet flange. And you make sure that the measurement is the same on both sides of the flange. It's time to screw down the flange. And it's important and actually required by code to use corrosion resistant screws or bolts. And this is how the flange should look after it's properly installed. But you're not done yet. Don't forget to take out the plastic bag that you put inside the drain. And just with a little bit more effort, you can do it right from the first time. And now with the brand new toilet flange, you don't have to worry about wobbly toilet or leaky toilet. And if you like this installation and you want to see the full replacement of the toilet, check out the next video. 
I hope you learned something today, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.